Have you ever turned over the engine on your DB9 and deliberately not wanted it to start? Well, why on earth would you want to be doing that? My engine fires almost instantly every time I try to start the car. Now it's awesome to listen to that, but there are times when you might not want the engine to start. You're asking when would those be? Let me tell you. There may be times when you want to avoid what's known as a dry start. If you leave your car for a long period of time, uh, storing it during the winter or uh, if you don't drive it very often, the oil can basically trickle down out of all the passageways into the sump. Or if you're doing an oil change on your car and you change the oil filter, well when you start back up the oil filter is going to be empty. So uh, to avoid a bit of this premature wear that might come when the engine is missing a little bit of its oil, uh, we want to basically crank the engine over on the starter only, uh, not under load of actually running, and the oil pump will then build up some pressure while you're cranking, so it'll fill the oil galleries and get some oil under the bearings and stuff before you actually let the engine fire up and get going. Fortunately, Aston Martin built in a feature uh, so that you can crank the engine over without it starting. It's actually a really simple process to follow. So the first thing you have to do is take your foot, step on the throttle and hold it all the way to the floor, just like you normally drive. Then put the key in the ignition uh, as you normally would. And this time, uh, where you press and hold the engine start button, the engine will not fire. They're actually turning off the fuel to the fuel injectors right now with my foot to the floor, so it's just going to crank and crank. And what you're going to want to pay attention to is the oil pressure indicator lamp on the instrument cluster. When the light goes out, that means pressure is built up and there's oil now circulating in the system and you're good to go. So let's give this a, a try. So we're going to press and hold the start for about five seconds. So that's long enough, the oil light goes out, some oil is now circulating in the system and we're good to start. Now to actually start your car, just lift your foot off the throttle, um, go ahead and start the car as normal. I wouldn't do this every time. I'd be worried about wearing the starter out and the battery out a little bit faster than normal. But I think any time that you change the oil or you've left your car sitting for a long period of time, this is probably worth the trouble. So hopefully you found that tip useful. Down here you'll find the companion blog article uh, that talks about the details of this process. Um, you'll also see probably a video about how to change your oil up here. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. And as always, I love hearing your comments. Please leave them down below. Thanks for watching.